Salutations everyone, this is Razor bringing you guys some search and rescue with the VKS sniper rifle. It's actually my very, very, very first get time with VKS, as you can see right at the beginning. I was checking out what the fire rate and the recoil look like. This thing's got a pretty boss fire rate, but it's got recoil up the ass, so you won't be able to bear it fitty cal at any time soon. Unless, you know, it's close quarters and you're just, you know, firing from the hip or whatnot. I'm not a big fan of the scope on this gun. I'm not really sure why. I don't know if it's different than the other guns, like if it's a different magnification or, or what, but it just, I don't really like it that much. I'm not as accurate with it. I'm not sure what the, the reasoning for it really is, but uh, as you guys know, the VKS uh, has an integrated, I know I suck, I, I can't aim. Um... The VKS is one of the integrated suppressor weapons along with the Honey Badger and the K7. And there are other weapons in the game that have integrated uh, attachments. Like the Chainsaw has got integrated laser sights. Um, what are the uh, SMGs? Like the PMG something? I don't know. It's the second one. has integrated uh, FMJ or armor piercing rounds or hardened or deep impact or whatever you want to call it. And so that's kind of weird that they decided to do all those things. I'm not really a fan of that uh, second SMG anyways, but I like the K7. So uh, the, the VKS, Integrated Suppressor, you, I mean, it's not a surprise that the Suppressor doesn't really hurt this gun because it doesn't hurt the Honey Badger and it doesn't seem to hurt the K7 a whole lot and suppressors as a whole in call of duty ghosts they don't seem to affect the weapons damage over range uh whatsoever uh even the weapons without integrated suppressors like you put on the l115 with the suppressor and you'll still get one shot kills to like the thigh and, and stuff so and every time i get killed by like an uh, msbs across the map it's still a one burst as you saw right there one burst uh, two bullet kill across the map with a suppressor and a lot of the other guns seem to be the same way and all of them are two bullet kills across the map but then again not every weapon can be an msbs but still a lot of guns killing two bullets in this game if you guys have not figured that already but i've seen plenty of like sa 805s and uh, uh other weapons vectors and and such uh, with suppressors, uh, that just they they'll kill you in two bullets at long range, and it the or three bullets uh, depending on the gun. But then again, with the same amount of lag that they decided to put in this game, it's kind of hard to tell what kills in two bullets, what kills in three bullets, or what kills in one bullet. Uh, to be uh, honest, um, a lot of the times uh, it seems like you get killed in one bullet by that damn uh, honey badger and and other stuff. But I'm sure a lot of that is just the lag that they put in this game for. Who knows what reason, uh, but I don't pretend to know what these guys do or what their thought process is. But uh, the VKS, as it stands, uh, with its integrated suppressor, is still a one-shot kill most of the time. Not as much as a one-shot kill as your L115 or your, maybe even your U USR, but, uh, or the... Um, Gosh, that's the third one called the AS50 light gun. Not as many one-shot kills as those guys, but still your 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 prototypical shots will be one-shot kills. You know, uh, middle mid chest, upper chest, you know, head. Obviously, those are all gonna be one shots, and that's really what you expect to find from a sniper rifle. And this one's always gonna be suppressed. So um, maybe chrome lining would uh would help out it a little bit. I mean. I don't get a lot of hit markers, but I get more hit markers with it than any of the other snipers. So, you know, it makes it seem a little weaker than it actually is. Just to, It's just because the other snipers in comparison are just so darn strong. It's a, a little ridiculous. But I, I, I enjoy the VKS. Like I said, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the scope and whatnot. But to have a, a stealth sniper um, can, can definitely help. Um, the, the reason that they made stealth snipers not really much of an option, at least, you know, stealth snipers that can kill in one shot, that wasn't to the head. Uh, the reason that those weren't much of a, a given us as an option before is because that's how you balance the snipers. If you got them suppressed, that makes a big advantage. You got this guy, you know, he could be, you know, however far away, camping or head glitching. And if he's got a suppressor, then he's not showing up on the radar. And, you know, he's got reduced muzzle flash, so it's kind of harder to find. So I think, you know, that was a pretty obvious balance that they made there. But 
Um, the silencers in this game really don't have much or any at all negative effects on any of the weapons. Haven't tried them with the pistols yet. I've been meaning to, but I haven't tried them with the pistols yet. But as far as the assault rifles, SMGs, and snipers go, um, the uh, the silencers really they only have positive effects. They only keep you off the radar. They don't really change your uh, your damage over range much. Got my PT25 pistols here, which is my favorite, guys. I run my Kimbo everywhere, even on my non steady aim uh, classes, just because it's got a pretty good uh, accuracy, even without steady aim. I mean, it's it's really not even that necessary. Corner camper, because we are playing search after all, so I take that guy out. Go ahead and pick up his tags. You know, that's the thing. You get the kill, and, you know, if it's a sniper or a big map, and you know, using any gun, really, if you're far away and you get those kills, it's a big risk to go for those tags. And that's one of the things that Search and Rescue just doesn't work with. They have to, you have to go out and get their tags, and the, the enemy team is going to be waiting for you to get those tags, and... You know, they'll kill you, and then they'll get their teammate back, and all of a sudden, he's alive again. It's like you did nothing. That's the problem. When, when with, with this whole kill confirm, kill deny aspect of Search and Destroy, when you get a kill, like, you could get a kill right off the spawn. It's just going to get picked up, and it's like you did nothing that game. You get maybe, you know, one or two kills, and, and you die, and they, if those get denied, it's like, what was the point of you even playing that round? It's like, it's... You, you, there are no results from what you did, and that's that's just another aspect of search and rescue that doesn't work. Obviously, also the really broken mechanics that I uh, I showed you guys uh, a couple days ago. The exploits in search and rescue, the uh, the super obvious one, and then the uh, the one that I'm sure many people will uh, pick up on in the future. But we are getting search and destroy back. Uh, as we've been told on the 15th on Friday. So that'll be nice. I don't think I'll be playing any more Search and Rescue. Because it's just the dynamic doesn't work. And it doesn't make for a better, more enjoyable experience. You know, your kills will get denied more than you are going to get rescued. <laughs> um, just because, you know, the way people like to play the game. And I know I'm, I'm on like a 2 sensitivity here. Maybe it's a 3, so I can track that guy down in time. I wish you could um, have... I've said this before. Why do they, they continue to not do this in every cut? I have no idea. But I want creative classes to have their own custom sensitivities. Like on this... On this class, I want to have like a 5 seven sensitivity. On this class, I want to have a 3 because, you know, you're going to have different weapons. I, I like having a higher sensitivity on my sniper rifles and my shotguns than I do on my, uh, you know, fully auto weapons or even, my you know, my marksman weapons. So my assault rifles and my SMGs. But with the shotguns, you know, if you're going close quarters and there's a lot of people, you want a higher sensitivity so you can target people faster before they kill you. Because it's a one-shot kill weapon, so you want to get your crosshairs on target as quickly as possible. And obviously the same thing goes uh, with the sniper rifle. And of course, you know, when it comes to, you know, quick scoping or scoping really, really fast or, you know, whatever you want to do and or call it, um, putting your crosshairs on the target quicker is definitely going to help you out with the sniper rifle and i wish i could have a higher sensitivity without needing to change it every single time that i equip the damn sniper rifle so uh, that, that's just that's just what i think i don't i don't know about you guys but that's something that i've always wanted since uh i guess modern warfare 3 is when the time like i really wanted it but um here i like using a two sensitivity on my SMGs and assault rifle and marksman classes. And on my sniper, I, I enjoy a three, but I definitely could bump it up. It definitely could uh, use a little little more sensitivity if I want to be a little more competitive um, with those mid to close range shots when it comes to quick scapping. But as you guys know, that's not really something I do. You'd have to have a, like a pretty high sensitivity to do that with a, a lot of regulated success anyways. But, and I've seen a lot of success with this VKS. I saw Spratty get a, a chem strike with this puppy. His quick scoping and his heart content. And I don't think he got a single hit marker. 
And I mean, this thing doesn't give you a lot of hit markers. None of the snipers do. And this has got an integrated suppressor. So I guess use that to your advantage because these assault rifles and SMGs just kill so damn fast in this game. I don't see how you could think that these snipers or the shotguns are overpowered in this game because, like, everything else will kill you faster. So a sniper rifle or a shotgun that can kill in one shot, maybe, most of the time is 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 pretty good in my book i've never felt in any call of duty that any sniper rifle or shotgun was overpowered at all um just because i've actually used the snipers and shotguns in every single call of duty and i've used them enough to know that they aren't overpowered whatsoever you're never going to see someone do uh with a shotgun Get, do the same get the same results that they could get with the uh, the, st the strong assault rifles or the strong SMGs with any sort of regularity um, with that performance and it's the people that really don't use the snipers or the shotguns that will complain about it because they just don't get light killed by a one shot kill weapons that's just something that a lot of people don't like and I think that's OP for whatever reason I don't know about you guys but you know, staying accurate with a KSG in Black Ops 2 or a, uh, I don't know, the VKS here isn't, you know, the easiest thing to do in the world. But, you know, we will always have our complainers. And, you know, there's plenty of stuff to, to gripe about in this game. Uh, some of it is kind of off target, but a, a lot of it is, is pretty universal. Um, I don't think I need to get into it now. I mean, if you guys want, like, a full review of the black or uh, the ghost um multiplayer i guess i could do that or maybe a positive and negative uh thing as i've done in the past but that would be a very uh, lopsided video just because they didn't seem to add a lot of things in this game uh that you could say that was a good idea kind of a thing but i don't know let me go know what you guys think in the comments um I, not not much is going to change about this game i don't even know if I want to get it on the Xbox One, to be perfectly honest, I don't really see the point. I mean, yeah, I could just trade my uh, 360 in and pay 10 bucks to get it on the One. And with the COD accounts, if you guys have seen that, the COD accounts, your progress does get switched over. You know, if you want it to, you can get your progress switched over. So all your stats and all of your, you don't have to re-rank up, which, you know, a lot of people like doing anyway. But, you know, that's, that's, their, that's cool. They can do whatever they want. Um, but, you know, I could do that if I wanted to, but it's like, I don't really know if I want to play Ghost on the Xbox One. I don't know how it's going to be, you know, how it could be, I'm not, I don't want to say how could it be better, it's already perfect, but I don't understand, I don't think it can get much better, um, just because, like, why would it? Maybe there be this part be smoother maybe the the textures would actually look good because i don't know if you guys noticed but yeah the lighting is better in this game and um some of the effects are a little more polished but the graphics in this game are actually kind of crap if you like you really uh take your time to look at it. like if you look at these rocks these are flat walls with just really lazy textures. And the sky at first glance looks really good, but when you really look at it, you're like, ugh, that looks really hazy and choppy. And that oh, was super fail right there. Should have got that guy. But um, yeah, the graphics look, are actually pretty bad in this game. It's just like the, the lighting that makes it seem better. Like there are some things that they improved on and some things they were just like, fuck it, let's phone this puppy in. So... <laughs> Um, maybe it'll look better on the Xbox One, but, you know, then again, not many people that I play with on the 360 are going to get the Xbox One. Either they, they're getting the PS4 or they, they don't have the money or it's not the right time for them to get it, but, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll, we'll see. Final score here is 13-3 of the VKS. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.